I always think that people might think that I'm a little bit... Must look up like my YouTube channel. Man, what a loser. Well, not a loser, but just like, man, why does he make these vlogs like, like he's talking to some group of like a million subscribers? But you know how like big, big YouTubers make these daily vlogs and they make the, these YouTube channels that go out to millions and millions of subscribers? And like, you can tell like the way that they do the vlogs as well is directed at millions of people. So I can imagine that people come to my channel and see that I've only got like, 160 subscribers and only get like 50 to 100 views on my videos. Yeah, I bet that people do think to themselves, why does he act like he's got millions of millions of subscribers? Man, I'm really struggling to say that. But I think the truth of it is, when I started Instagram, 400 followers, and I was already like there, like posting pictures of me and Gemma, the captions and stuff were really kind of like hey guys got a new camera, we be out there filming adventures blah 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 taking loads of pictures even then people were like why is he posting this kind of stuff, why is he acting like he's got loads of followers really really short time like a year and a half maybe and I have like 35,000 followers and all of a sudden people are like whoa get it that's why. So I guess it's just maybe my way of doing things like be really positive about stuff and like I believe in the law of attraction I believe that always thinking ahead and always thinking that one day I'm gonna have millions of subs millions of subscribers and kind of what makes me always wanna or kind of keeps me making my vlog in this style like as I'm talking to millions of people but I don't know I guess it's just my way of doing it and like I love the fact that Please be it. I can hear a van. <gasps> it is. Can you see me? Okay guys, this is what I've been super excited about. You know what? <clears throat> this is what I'm waiting for, um, and kind of the reason why I wanted to vlog today. Check it out. So I'm back. Um, I don't know which way up it goes or anything. Okay, minus side goes in first. In. For fuck's sake, this is ridiculous. Push up, push in. The bottom one's in and then into place. They call that the top. Done it. <laughs> Boom, we've got a green light. Okay guys, so got the mic, the road mic up on top of the camera. It's not plugged in yet because I just wanted to do this little test. Is either gonna be 159 pounds down the drain and we just go back to mediocre vlogs or I'm gonna plug this in and Stuart Carter Vlogs is about to make a serious impact on the world. Let's try it. Where's the hole? Oh, heard that one before. This is me talking right now on the vlog with the built-in camera and if I carry on talking it should just switch to the new uh, Rode mic. So my name is Stuart, this is and now I have a new mic and it sounds amazing right? Sounds really good, huh? Oh yeah, new vlog. I have no idea what it sounds like, it could sound really shit. This is my little buddy. Eating Chris, helping me edit some drone footage. Editing videos. What are we using? Premiere Pro. Pro. Premiere Pro. They're nice. Cheese. Yeah. 
Cheese. Welcome to my vlog. Why can I tell a dog? Vlog. Vlog. Say hi, I'm Megan and this is my vlog. Hi, hi. I'm just loving your vlog. You're good at vlogging, aren't you? Look, this is how you do it. Hold your hand here. So you're holding it and say, hi guys, welcome to the vlog. Hi, 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 welcome to the vlog. Okay, so this is what I'm doing at the moment. I am trying to edit together. Trying to edit together drone footage that I just took down the park. Just testing out the drone because the uh, the gimbal seemed to be not working properly before. stays up there. Hope the audio is good. <laughs> See you later bros. Best way to go. Magpie. Two. Two for joy. Two for joy. Hey guys, so welcome back to the vlog. Today has been a great day. A fantastic day in fact. I woke up, I had coffee, I got a shower. Then I was just doing this little like a talk on like inspiration and motivation for making video and film. A quarter away of making the first one, my awesome surprise where my road mic was delivered. And I was kind of like halfway through talking about how it's so important to have really good audio in your vlogs and in your videos and how I had the worst. It was so tinny, the sound was awful. I went into my wallet and I spent some money and bought uh, Rode Video Mic Pro, which is like what every big vlogger YouTuber uses. So I was like, man, it must be the best. It's got to be good. Now my audio is so much better. Then Megan came around for a little while, which is Gemma's little cousin. I went out and I filmed some drone footage because I was trying to test it because the gimbal's broken on it. And then I'd done some editing of the drone footage, which Megan helped me with. Now, why did I leave the house? But I left the house for a very special reason. And this is a super special reason to film my first piece of first like piece of film that somebody had paid me to make for them like professional job i guess in a sense they go they take photos well obviously the new thing to do is to create sort of short two three minute videos showcasing the house uh, from inside outside drone shots some nice stabilized slow-mo footage some cool music um, so I was like sure man I'll come do it so that's where I've just been and I actually wanted to vlog on the way down there but I realized that by the time I'd left Gemma's mum's house and started the 45 minute journey to the house I was filming that whole camera box in the boot of the car so I, I, and I couldn't be bothered to pull over just to get the camera out oh by the way I forgot to mention probably should mention now I know I just said before that I got a brand new road video mic super good audio to go with my good dslr and then you're like well why do i sound so tinny and why do i uh the picture quality not great and that's because i'm not vlogging on my camera right now i'm actually vlogging on the gopro hero 5. i think i think this could be a good thing to add to my vlog because when i'm in a car i'm pretty weird like i will literally drive along and talk to myself you got if you guys weren't here with me in the car i probably would still be like talking to myself or talking to myself in my head weird but whatever what was like a thing that i really wanted to talk to people about because today's actually like a pretty special day for me like my youtube channel like maybe january this year and i made a video of new york and i put that video up and the idea for my youtube channel cinematic travel videos whilst I was away traveling around the world. I, I put the New York video up, I put the Florida video up, but then I just realized I was actually just spending so much time of being away traveling, shooting footage, and then even more time editing it. And even Gemma was saying to me like, we're away traveling, like you should really be just traveling and having fun. Like I was spending far too much time. So I said, okay, cool. I'm gonna go into a hardware store wherever I am traveling. I actually bought my external hard drive, one terabyte from uh, b &H photo in New York and I put everything onto an external hard drive and I said you know what 
that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to record the footage now and then when I get home I can work through all the external hard drives and make these epic videos. But now, since I've been home from traveling in this sort of like two, three month stage in between being home, I've kind of like spent way more time learning more about cameras and lenses and aperture and composition of shots, like where to put people in shots and just learning so much more about my trade. So I kind of like the footage that I shot there whilst we was away is not as good as what it would be if I was to go back and shoot it now. So I wanted to give my channel a bit of a new direction, so I... Fuck. Lens flare off the iPad, straight to the retina. So yeah, there's magpies galore. Do any of you do that? If you see one magpie on its own, salute it. It's meant to be good luck. If you see one for sorrow, two for joy, three for a gal, four for a boy. I don't know what five or six or seven is. Gemma does, she knows. So I'm just rambling, man. I'm literally just rambling. What I really wanted to talk about was when I was like 15, 16, I used to make like terrible skate videos like everyone else. And I used to make like really bad jackass style videos with my friends. Like it was pretty stupid, but that's what we did. You get older and you become an adult kind of, and you have to adult, kind of, you like, you start to lose track of the things that you're passionate about and the things you care about and the things you're good at. Like it just becomes a little bit pointless being an adult really. So a year and a half ago, I hadn't ever like, I didn't know what a DSLR was. I didn't know what point and shoot was. I didn't know anything about videography or cinematography or photography. I didn't know anything about any of those. All I knew was, was that I didn't want to work in an office. I didn't want to work nine to five in an office anymore. I wanted to do something that fulfilled me creatively. I wanted to do something that made me feel good. Something that I could share with the world. And if it came to doing everyday vlogging so that I could share my entire life with people, then great. If it just meant me sort of sharing bits of my life, then awesome. Uh, but I had no idea how to do it. So I spent like a year, probably a year, maybe a year and a half, where I sat up till, Gemma hates it, but literally sitting up till like three in the morning on YouTube, headphones in, just watching all of my favorite vloggers, watching hundreds, probably thousands of tutorials on frame rates, cameras, full frame sensors, like codec, the bit rate, what megabyte is, what 4K even is, like, what lenses to use, what does a low lens do, what does a fast lens do, what does a 200 millimeter do that a 10 mil doesn't do, what does a Premiere Pro do, what is the best laptop, what editing software, how do I do this, how do I do that, like framing of images, like composition, rule of thirds, like there's just so much that I had no idea about when I first picked up the camera. And I kind of like, as the months and the year went on, I kind of like, the more I learned about it, the more I was able to like put that into stuff. I was able to just go out and practice. Every, every time I learned something, I was putting that into practice. And even if it's just going out over the local field and practicing your ISO settings or practicing your aperture or practicing the way that you use stabilizers for, for filming smoother shots. Like every time I learned something, I'd go out over the field or down the park or somewhere and I'd put it to practice and I'd keep doing that. And then eventually I started making my videos that like I, I post out. Like everything that I've done, all the film work that I've done, all, all of the stuff that I've shot, like I have one terabyte drives. I have about six of them and they're all full of footage. That's about 50 hours plus of footage that I've filmed like but it doesn't matter everything that i've filmed has been for me and for me only today was the first time in a year and a half from the year and a half ago when i first picked up a camera everything i've learned and all the little videos i've done and all the things i've applied and the techniques i've applied have all led in my eyes to today because today's the first time that somebody else from the outside has contacted me and said, hey Stuart, I like your videos, I like the way you make stuff, can you come and do this for us? We'll pay you money to do it. So I'm like, yeah, of course. And now I feel like I'm, I'm really excited again. I'm really excited for the future and video for me because 
I've actually got people there in the world, even if it's just one guy right now, who is super excited to have me come and video for him. And it's, okay, so it's only shooting his property business, so I'm going around all the houses and he's paying me per house to go around and do them. Like for me, that, that challenges me creatively to go out and do something. And I love that, I absolutely love that. I'm so happy to be doing that. It's like my favorite thing to be out filming stuff. So that gives me a creative outlet for me to go and do that. But what, I'm, what the point I'm trying to make is, like a year and a half ago when I picked up a camera, did I think that eventually one day I was gonna have 35,000 followers on Instagram, that I was gonna have a decent camera and a decent vlogging setup, and I was gonna have a vlog that people are starting to like and that I was gonna have really cool cinematic travel videos and I was gonna be making a full-time living on Instagram and that I was gonna have companies coming to me saying, can you come and shoot video for us? No, of course I didn't. Of course I didn't. I thought at best I'm gonna be going away and maybe get some like short little videos together. But that kind of does all tie in. Everything I'm saying there and how, you can tell how passionate I am about today. Like, I just am. I'm just super passionate about it. And it's making me excited for life because I know that when I go back now and I edit that video, I know that my editing is just as good as my actual video. So I know that he's gonna be super pumped with it and I know he's gonna call me back on every house. Also, the guy that was there who actually owns the whole properties, his wife, she needs some help with like setting up an Instagram, which again, I charge for that. But she also needs somebody to come in and film her online courses for teaching people. So again, that's like from today, I've made two new contacts with that. And who's to say that like, oh, also in December, I have to go and shoot my next door neighbor's wedding which again is like another string to it. And I don't want to be one of these people that is a wedding photographer, a wedding videographer. And I don't want to be one of these people that's a property videographer. I don't want to be one of these people that just makes tr I don't want to be one of these people that makes just travel videos, you know? I don't want to be I don't want to be pigeonholed into one thing. I want to be successful as a videographer. That's like that was my goal 6 months ago, from 6 months ago to now onwards. Prior to 6 months ago, I just wanted to be famous on Instagram. And like, yeah, of course, like I'm not going to give up on my Instagram. I'm going to keep going, man. My target for Instagram is to get to 100 thousand followers if I get to a hundred thousand followers on Instagram man I'll be that's like that's my goal obviously like the dream one day would be to get to a million followers on Instagram of course but I haven't taken a breath in about 16 miles okay guys I am back on the main camera video mic pro which is kind of probably the first time you guys are gonna hear it properly what my vlogs are actually gonna sound like I'm back from today Super, super tired, just waiting on Gemma um, to make me dinner. She's downstairs cooking for me, which is just, uh, I kind of wanted to just close off this vlog by saying like, I had a bit of an idea uh, when I was driving home today. With these vlogs, like I would love to have, I would love to do like daily vlogs every single day with all my other stuff going on that I'm never gonna have enough time to do everything like properly and be able to make really, really good content every single day away doing my own instagram stuff and so much of my stuff is away doing um growing other people's instagrams as well it's another part of my business which i do is, is grow people's instagrams for them 97 percent of my day is doing that um and now i've just started obviously doing sort of professional video for small to medium sized companies as well um and I think that like that takes up like pretty much all of my time. So I think throwing a camera in my face like every single day and doing daily vlogging is probably not the best idea for me right now. But I love the idea of it and I love vlogging. I think it's amazing. So what I kind of come up with the idea of doing is instead of doing a vlog every single day, doing like every other day or every couple of days or maybe once a week doing like instead of like a... a a four minute constantly like an intro and then chop change in b-roll and then an ending instead of doing that um doing like 
uh, maybe a seven to ten minute video, which is like cinematic vlog, like a real story behind it. It kind of then challenges me to make like a really creative vlog. I'm going to end today's vlog right now and then in a couple of weeks hopefully I'll have my first one of those type, those style vlogs. And yeah, I think that's about it. Also, I can update you guys soon. Um, I'm really, really hoping like I'm this close to financially having the money that I want to buy the camera that I really, really want. I'm not going to say which camera is. I would rather reveal that to you in kind of like a, a decent vlog that's like dedicated to that camera because I've wanted this camera for so long um, and just all my money has just been going into different things in my life. Um, but Gemma's got me on the, the saving. Oh, I'm really, really close to being able to buy this camera. And when I get this camera, my vlogs will just get so much better. And it, trust me, it's a good enough camera that I can make some real cinematic storytelling vlogs. And that's what I'm most excited for. Yeah, I guess uh, this is the end of this vlog. I'm kind of like, tonight I've been doing some writing, like some story writing, some narrative and stuff like that for my first cinematic vlog. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll be coming soon. Did you call me, Gem? Yeah? 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 I think my dinner's ready. Yeah? What is that? Go in the room and find out. Oh, it's already in there. Yeah. Ooh -hoo. Oh, that's the best part. Jim, what is it? <gasps> Barbecue pulled chicken. See ya. <laughs>